Mark, um, last 12 months for Into Lakeside, how, how's it gone? Uh, it's been a very, very exciting year. Um, it was obviously my first year here. I started uh, in February of 2015, um, and you know, very exciting it was to take on one of the Essex icons, really. I think that everyone in my industry uh, wants to run one of the top 10 shopping centres, and I've got the chance, and I've got the chance in a destination that is so very exciting. It's been an exciting last 12 months. We've um, uh, obviously, well, I suppose that the, the key to our business is um, is selling space to uh, to, to retailers, uh, and we've been very successful in that. We've had a lot of new names um, come across our doorstep this year, which is very exciting for us and very exciting, more importantly, for our customers. And they've included the likes of Hamleys. Um, just before my arrival, so not quite in, in, in the 12 months, but I think that, that our customers who have visited in the 12 months um, have enjoyed visiting Mac, um, which is obviously very popular and resonates very well with the Essex customer and consumer. Um, we've had Kurt Geiger come in, and again, rather like Mac, it, it fits our customer profile and demographic extremely well. Um, we've had um, some additions on our food court, um, this last couple of weeks we've had Red Dog Saloon who opened up their fifth fascia in the UK, predominantly known for sort of the, their, their restaurant in Hoxton, um, which, is, uh, which has been very successful. And again, I know that will be very, they'll be very successful here. So, um, uh, you know, that, that's, um, since it's £9 million development about 18 months ago, that is highly successful. Um, and of course, just before Christmas, um, the opening of Victoria Secrets, which has made the... Um, women of Essex and indeed the men of Essex very happy um, and uh, they're performing extremely well. It's been really exciting and the exciting thing for me and for my management team is that uh, the real excitement is to come in the future. Um, so it's, it was a good time to start and a good time to get the appointment to uh, into Lakeside Shopping Centre. What's the process like with somebody coming here? So, for example, like Red Dog, for example, do you, are they approaching you or are you approaching them? I think it's a two-way street, really. I think that, um, you know, because we are so iconic um, and the KPIs that a retailer, whether it be a food retailer, a fashion retailer or whatever, are looking for, um, it's about um, where we sit in the retail hierarchy, um, the other shops that we've got, because you'll find that retailers will gravitate, gravitate towards like-minded retailers, because there's nothing like critical mass that will draw a customer to come in. So it's no good ha um, being out there in isolation, because a customer likes choice. Because what they have got these days is choice, not just by physical shopping, um, you know, shopping on, on the internet. Uh, you know, I can sit on my sofa watching Match of the Day, and um, in my hand I can have every shop that I want to, um, so accessible. Um, so I think that the uh, physical shopping has to change and um, you know that is where the excitement at Into Lakeside is going to be um, but um, retailers choosing to come in here and have a physical presence um, will want to be where other retailers uh, that are selling a similar sort of product are because what they will get is critical mass because a customer will will have a choice and make a discerning choice about where they want to go so so what we have got is got a great mix of shops in here that brings someone in um, obviously um, in t obviously the footfall that we have coming through the shopping centre which is 25 million a year um, obviously excites a retailer because they sense and sniff opportunity and um, so that drives them into uh, wanting to come into the shopping centre so I suppose in answering your question we're going to retailers and saying this is our proposition this is a unique proposition this is why you've got to come to us but more and more into Lakeside um, over the last three or four years um, retailers are queuing up to try and find space with us in here and it's not always easy easy to give them the space that they want because it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. We have a strategy in our mind as to um, how we want to develop the layout of the shopping centre, what shop sits where and sometimes we have to wait. Um, it's a bit like one of those puzzles where you've got one little gap and you have to move the numbers around to get them all in an order and I suppose we're doing a bit the same. We've got a strategy as to uh, how we want the layout to be um, at the shopping centre and sometimes it takes time to get to the, to, to get to the end of our strategy and it's always changing. I have to catch this question quite carefully, but a lot of the recent uh, acquisitions or people moved in, like Kuoni and, and Virgin, you yep. mentioned, um, yep. uh, uh, for example, uh, Prezzo, you know, a lot of people have said, oh, that's interesting, as, as if, how do I say this, the calibre is, is rising here, because uh, Lakeside has been knocked over the years, hasn't mm -hmm. there? Are you, is, is, that, is that accurate to say the calibre is rising? And, and I, I, well, I, I think so. I, I absolutely think so. I think, you know, I think it's... Uh, you know, very exciting some of those faces, the ones that you mentioned, the ones that I mentioned before it. 
Um, I think you know that is the evidence. People want to be here, um, and I, you know I think that um, we have a very strong belief amongst our uh, amongst our team, and um, that's my management team on site. That's the team that works in our head office and our property, our property teams that work alongside us, who primarily get these names in here. We believe that our stock is rising, and I think that that is um, that is uh, best evidenced by the people who want to come in here. And you said them, you said those names yourself. You know they are good, strong faces that any shopping centre would want. For the future, the plans for the future are exciting yeah. plans for this place. Where are we with everything? Yeah, well, um, uh, you'll probably know that we've got our, um, outline planning permission for um, two significant developments in here. Um, I think that um, we always, in our minds, uh, we're going to be doing the leisure development first, and indeed that will happen. That's gaining traction. Um, we are currently in negotiation with a, um, with, with a leisure partner, and we hope very soon that we can announce who that is. Um, and it will be extremely exciting and that will um, allow us to probably get out the ground at the back end of this year, certainly by this time next year, you know, we'll see the hoarding up and we'll see the development works that will start that and probably come to fruition and see the end of that by 2019. And again, that's all about the, the, the type of use that will um, attract a family to want to come and spend uh, time at, at, into Lakeside um, and spend all day here. So there's leisure activities, places to eat, because that's one thing you can't do over the internet. Um, and then um, hopefully that they will then come and do the physical shopping in our lovely array of shops that we've spoken about. Because this whole area, this area of Tharrock, is, is, is an area of regeneration, mm -hmm. as they say, from, from DP World. Yep. You look at the Perfleet Town Centre and yep. plans, etc., and here. So, But then you'll get days like today, you know, with gridlock. And Are you aware of yourselves as this part of this global or this yeah, borough wide I mean, region? I, indeed, absolutely. I mean, we work very collaboratively with the local authority, and I think that we know our place in their thoughts in terms of how important we are for the borough. But we also work very closely with the other st stakeholders. And you mentioned DP World, Port of Tilbury, um, across Across in Perfleet, you've got the um, our production house, um, and we work very closely with them. And, and um, I think that you know, in terms of what we collectively try and do for, for Thurrock as a borough, uh, we're all on the same page uh, in terms of sort of our future strategy and how we can draw more people into the borough. Um, here more locally it's about getting more people into the lakeside basin and then obviously my job is to get those people who are visiting to come to into lakeside a little bit about your job a couple more questions left here is yep. what, do you have a typical day no absolutely not every day is different and um, you know I've, I've, I've had a rich and varied career um, predominantly in retail and um, the last 11 years as a um, as a shopping center manager have been the best I mean I started my career with Marks and Spencer and I enjoyed it enormously and I will always speak very passionately about the career and the grounding that that gave me but unquestionably the job that I've got in shopping centre management and the job I've got it into Lakeside is the best. I, you know, I, 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 um, I, I would challenge anyone to say that they've got a better job than I have. It's so exciting because every day is so different. You know, I've got a great management team um, who support me. Um, I am a, a retailer is in my blood, so I can go down and go back to the floor if you like and go and talk a language that I understand because that's where my humble beginnings were. Um, but equally, in terms of engaging with the stakeholder we've spoken, um, there's sort of a rich diversity of other industries that I get involved in. Um, working collaboratively with the local authority brings me into sort of a political arena. Um, we, we, we obviously, um, we, we, are a, we are completely apolitical, but um, I have to have an understanding about the politics, the economics of the area, so it's so richly diverse that it, it means that every day is uniquely different. Five years time, where do you see Into Lakeside? Five I years? see ourselves um, as um, uh, improving as being a leisure destination of the southeast to um, pit itself against uh, the best that are around here.